more and more businesses reopen and the summer months roll along, traffic is starting to come back to Amarillo. And the Amarillo Police Department is reminding everyone who gets behind the wheel to pay attention and drive safely. ABC 7's Matt Kinchla has the story. Across the state, roadways have been less busy during the COVID-19 pandemic. In some cities, speeding citations and reckless driving citations are up. Here in Amarillo, they are down, but APD Sergeant Carla Burr says that could be because of the risk of contracting COVID-19. When everything first started and when the, the state was locked down and, you know, we were being you know, we made changes in our report to everything. Our police department was locked down. Our officers were told to only um, make stops if it was, you know, something that was blatant, it was dangerous. Between March 1st and July 27th, 2019, there were 3,685 speeding citations. Between the same dates in 2020, there has been 396 less speeding citations, but one figure that sticks out is the number of driving fatalities in Amarillo. In 2018, there were 16 total. 2019, there were 16 total. However, in 2020, there has already been 15, with over four months left in the year. When I first moved to Amarillo a long time ago, um, and, and I was already driving, you could get anywhere in town in 10 minutes. It's not the case anymore. If you're driving from one end of town to another, it's 20 to 25 minutes. If you're getting there faster, you're going too fast. Amarillo is 100 square miles. Respect that. Give people time, give yourself time. Don't try to make it in that 10 minutes like it used to be. Um, and let's all get where we need to go. As people head back to work, Sergeant Burr says drivers must be careful to pay attention to the roadway and not get distracted. Even if you don't drive, but maybe once a week for three or four months, you're not going to forget how to drive, but you may not be as attentive. You may be thinking, and, and honestly, I mean, if you've been quarantined for three months and now you have to go back to work, you've got a lot on your mind. It's kind of scary to get back out there. This is just a weird time for all of us. So yeah, there's a concern obviously that people are going to be more distracted than normal. Sergeant Burr says the key to safe driving is following the speed limit, avoiding distractions, and never, never get behind the wheel intoxicated. Reporting in Amarillo, Matt Kinchla, ABC 7 News.